Quick rundown. This week is going to be a pretty big week for the Shiba Inu dog coin. There's a few things that you got to keep in mind, especially when it comes around Tuesday and Wednesday. First of all, the Federal Reserve will be coming out with some big announcements. And these are announcements that you as the investor need to know. I know you're investing in a meme coin like Shiba Inu, but still though, they always follow the street rules. Interest rates, if it goes up too much, freaks out the whole market and everything tanks. Now, before diving in deeper into this video, definitely check out Moomoo guys for free stocks and even a free Twitter stock. Click the Moomoo link in the description below. Make a Moomoo brokerage account using that link and deposit $100 some free stocks or two grand and get a Twitter stock after 30 days. It's free money, okay? Free stocks and it's a pretty dope exchange too. But let's talk about Shiba Inu because the Federal Reserve will be doing some really wild stuff. First of all, markets have been pricing in a 0.5% interest rate hike, but we should not rule out the fact that there could be a 0.75 and hopefully not a 1% interest rate hike. If any of those two happen, markets are going to tank even more. But then again, markets are so low, Shiba Inu prices are so low, Ethereum prices are so low to the point that can it get any lower? Probably not. There's really not that much catalyst on the table to really tank the markets. I think markets should be able to stabilize within the next few days. Sure, there's going to be a lot of volatility, and maybe even the short term from Monday to Wednesday, we could be seeing a huge tanking for Shiba Inu. But in the grand scheme of things, this is going to be a pretty good area for Shiba Inu to actually start rebounding, especially how it already hit like its floor value 2.0. We could be seeing a pretty big rebound from the current mark. We're also seeing ETH and BTC prices in some areas stabilize a little bit. Even some meme coins even going up in the past few days. We're also seeing interest rate hikes freaking out the markets. And also the whole Russia-Ukraine situation isn't getting any better. You got commodities going up in price, massive shortages. But there's a few key things you want to keep in mind as an investor. Not everything is super bad. You probably have been hearing news about a recession or some sort of massive crash for all assets. But remember, unemployment's at an all-time low. GDP is actually extremely high for a regular quarter like this. And last but not least, the you know, economy is pretty strong. The Americans actually have a lot of money on them. Even though prices of products have been going up, Americans actually have been experiencing some decent amount of wealth because of super low unemployment. That's what Powell keeps stressing about. Strong labor market, strong economy, chances of recession, according to you know some analysts out there, is probably very slim. Deutsche Bank is saying there's a recession. I don't really think so. Thanks for watching. See you later.